Let's talk a little bit about the play by ear training mode. Okay, This large button up here in the corner is a, a really, really valuable asset and uh, unlike anything you'll find in other ukulele courses. What this does is allows you to hear the difference between selected chords in a way that trains your ear to recognize them when you hear them again. So what, the best way to use this is by example. So let's start off, uh, we've, we've already discussed grouping, so let's go ahead and set up a group. Let's just set up the A's, okay, and we're going to take a look at what we got. We have A, A7, and A minor, okay. Now, with that set, we're going to switch on play by ear training mode, and we hear the chord being played. Now, what you want to do at first is listen to the chord, familiarize yourself with it, and then turn it over and find out what it is. That's the A chord, okay, and we'll go to the next one. You can hear the difference, and this is A7. Now, this one, distinctively different, this is the A minor. Now, did you hear how, uh, for lack of a better word, it got darker? This chord sounded much darker than that chord, okay? And we can just toggle through these as well with the chord box. Okay, so now you start to hear a difference, and if you were quizzing yourself now, I think, just from those three chords, you could go through that's clearly the A minor, and yes it is, okay? And that very bright sound, very clean bright sound, that's obviously the A, okay? So now you start to recognize this chord by ear, and you can tell the difference between, and that, you hear that subtle nuance in this seventh there, and the A minor, and the A, okay, so we've got these down. Now we might want to add another one, so we're going to add the B chords here. Now as we run through these, and we might want to hit random and quiz ourselves. Okay, now that's clearly one of the B's. It doesn't sound like any of the A's that we've learned so far. And that's B minor. Okay, and again, I, I, I'm showing you a short, shortened version of this, but the idea at first would be to go through each of the chords, hear them, learn them, and then go back and quiz yourself afterwards but um, you can start to see how this uh, feature works. Now another way we might want to do this, by the way you can click on the play by ear training mode at any time to see the finger placement as well, which helps you, you know, when you're trying to learn how to recreate the chords. Um, another way that you can use this is to set it up so that you're only hearing, for example, the sharp chords. And they all have a very uh, unique tonality. Do you hear it? And one other thing you can do while you're in play-by-ear training mode is to use the autoplay feature, which will then run through the set that you've created um, while you practice along. So, um, by using the grouping buttons together with the play-by-ear training mode, you can really isolate a section of uh, a chord group that you want to 